Hello friends, my name is Bob. In this video, I will be showing you the solution to the McCoy series of cosine x squared using the formula shown in the top right hand corner of this video. But before I do so, if you guys like the solution, help me press the thumbs up icon below this video. The top right hand corner formula tells us that a function can be expressed as an infinite series in which to apply the formula we need to find y is my f0 which is the function evaluating x equals to 0 f prime 0 is the function differentiated once and evaluating x equals to 0 f double prime 0 is the function differentiated twice and evaluating x equals to 0 f triple prime 0 is the function differentiated 3 times and evaluating x equals to 0 and then we have f4 times prime 0 is the function differentiated 4 times and evaluating x equals to 0 so for this particular problem we will be expressing the Maclaurin series of cosine x squared up to and including the x to the power 4 terms we first let fx be equals to cosine x squared in which next we will find y is the f prime x that means differentiating fx one time we will get the following negative sine x squared differentiating of x squared is 2x so this is equals to the negative of 2x sine x squared next we find what is the f double prime x by differentiating f prime x one more time so we will apply the product rule of differentiation for this particular case we first worked out the differentiation of negative 2x is just negative 2 sine x squared then we worked out what is the differentiation of sine x squared hence we have the following the differentiation of sine x squared basically is just cosine x squared differentiating x squared is 2x so hence we have f double prime x as negative 2 sine x squared subtracting away 4x squared cosine x squared next to find y is my f triple prime x we differentiate f double prime x one more time we start with the first term differentiating negative 2 sine x squared we get negative 2 cosine x squared times 2x and then as for the second term we will have to solve it by applying the product rule of differentiation starting with differentiating 4x squared we get 8x keeping cosine x squared plus keeping the 4x squared and then we differentiate cosine x squared we get the negative of sine x squared times 2x and next we simplify the whole equation we will get the following the first term will just be negative 4x cosine x squared and then as for the second term we open up the square bracket we get negative of 8x cosine x squared and last but not least the third term itself is just basically 8 cube sine x squared to work out the f4 times prime x, I will differentiate f triple prime x one more time. And in this particular case, we know that this first two term itself is negative 12x cosine x squared. To differentiate negative 12x cosine x squared, we have to apply the product rule of differentiation starting with the following. We have negative 12 cosine x squared plus the negative of 12x negative of sine x squared times 2x same thing for this particular term of f triple prime x we will also have to apply the product rule of differentiation and we get the following so we differentiate 8x cubed we get 24x squared sine x squared and then we keep the 8x cubed and we differentiate sine x squared we get cosine x squared differentiating x squared we get 2x next we'll find what is my f0 f prime 0 f double prime 0 f triple prime 0 and f to 4 times prime 0 by substituting x equals 0 into the function of x around this part here so let's start off with the f0 substituting x equals 0 into fx basically is just equals to 1 how about f prime 0 substituting x equals 0 into f prime x we get basically just 0 because 
negative 2 times 0 is 0. Anything times 0 is equal to 0. f double prime 0, substituting x equals to 0 into f double prime x, we get also 0 because this term itself is 0. And we have this particular term itself is also 0 because 4 times 0 is equals to 0. How about f triple prime x, substituting x equals to 0 into f triple prime x? For the first term itself is 0 because negative 12 times 0 is equals to 0 and the 8x cubed term, this part here, also is equals to 0. So basically f triple prime 0 is 0. For f4 times prime 0, substituting x equals to 0 into f4 times prime x, so for the second and the third and the fourth term, these are all zeros. Well, for the first term itself, it's just negative 12. So now we have evaluated what is my f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, f triple prime 0, and f four times prime 0. I can now apply the formula to find out what is my Maclaurin series of cosine x squared. So the Maclaurin series of cosine x squared can be approximate to be 1 plus x to the power 4 negative 12 divided by 4 factorial. So we know that 4 factorial is 24 and hence the final answer is basically just the following. 1 minus half x to the power 4. If you guys like solution, let me press the thumbs up icon and do consider to subscribe. My name is Bob. Thank you guys for your support and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys.